morning of one of the biggest games in IWU men's basketball history, the Wildcats put things in perspective by giving back to a special group of athletes. The eight remaining teams in the NAIA Division II Championship attended a special Olympics clinic Saturday morning in Keter Gymnasium to encourage and interact with over 40 children and adults with special needs from the local area. NAIA committee member and spokesperson Sean Hanrahan always looks forward to this aspect of the tournament and the joy that it brings. This is my favorite point. You know, we watch a lot of great basketball, but to see the young men just be an unbelievable example for the young kids is, is something special, because this is something they'll remember for the rest of their lives. Along with the fun and exercise, Hanrahan emphasized two things to the athletes, to never give up and always finish strong. But what do you do? You get back up. I want to hear you say, get back up. Get back up. Get back up. As the NAIA grows in size and popularity, Hanrahan appreciates events like Champion Athletes that sets this league and tournament apart. It's a wonderful day. You know, this is our biggest turnout of college athletes. You know, we had seven full teams. Nobody does it like the NAIA. We have a tournament and then a clinic. Everybody has a clinic, but nobody uses the participants in that national tournament to run the clinic. I think that's what really separates us. It takes a lot of volunteers and hours to meet the needs of special athletes, but Susan Miles loves every minute of it. Oh, it's great. When our athletes come in, they're fairly intimidated. The college players are very tall, very big, but it takes about two minutes. Uh -huh. uh, and the college players absolutely win them over. They make them feel confident. We have our athletes that are doing things, trying skills that we have never been able uh -huh. to get them try, so they absolutely love it. Indiana Westland assistant coach Fred Hodson has been a teacher and coach for over 20 years and loves working with kids of all ages. I love, uh, I teach uh, physical education at the middle school level and I've had uh, for about 20 years now I had a number of special needs students. To see the ball players with, with the talent God's blessed them with, mm -hmm. but then also share the, uh, come on in buddy, to also share the, what's your name? Aaron. 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 This is Aaron. Do you have a good day? Yes sir. Good day. All right. Thanks for the What was your favorite buddy? part? Really good. All right, everything. All right. Everything right. was. That right there, just uh, get a, get a chance to give them a hug or give them a high five, to see them smile. In just over an hour, relationships and memories are made that will last a lifetime, including a few autographs. Want to get an autograph? You sure can have an autograph. And look at, uh, you see the excitement yeah. on these guys. Every year, this event is meant to teach and make an impact on these special athletes. But at the end of the day, the players and coaches are the ones feeling blessed. Everyone left the champion Saturday morning. Reporting for Wildcat Central in Branson, Missouri, I'm Chase Evans.